Hi, in this short video we will discuss about capacitors. We'll discuss what is a capacitor, why do we use capacitors in electronics, and what are the main types of capacitors. So what is a capacitor? A capacitor is a passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of an electric field when voltage is applied across it. It's usually made of two conductive plates separated by a dielectric, which is an insulating material. It is denoted as C and measured in farads after Michael Faraday, a pioneering scientist in electromagnetism and electrochemistry. In simple terms, a capacitor is just two plates separated by an insulator that stores energy as an electric field and resists sudden changes in voltage. The symbol of a capacitor is two parallel lines with terminals connected to each plates, like this. Now let's try to compare the electric circuit with the water pipe system. The image shows the analogy between a water tank with a flexible membrane in a pipe system and a capacitor in an electric circuit. In the water pipe system, the pump pushes water through the pipe. The tank with a flexible membrane acts like a storage unit. When water pressure rises, the membrane stretches and this stretched membrane stores energy in the form of potential energy. When pressure drops, the stretched membrane pushes water back into the pipe. This prevents sudden pressure changes and keeps the flow steady. Similarly, a capacitor stores energy in its electric field when current flows into it. The capacitor acts like an energy reservoir. When voltage rises, it stores charge in its electric field. When voltage drops, it releases charge back into the circuit. A capacitor resists sudden changes in voltage by charging and discharging to keep the voltage steady. As the tank with the flexible membrane takes time to fill or empty, the same way the capacitor also takes time to get charged and discharged. Now why do we use capacitors in electronics? Capacitors are used in electronics because they can store energy, oppose sudden changes in voltage and filter signals. Some main applications are mentioned here. Capacitors are used to store energy to compensate for abrupt cuts in the DC supply. Capacitors block low frequency or DC signals while allowing high frequency AC signals to pass. That's why they're widely used in power supplies, audio circuits, and radio electronics as filtering blocks. In combination with inductors, capacitors form LC circuits that can tune to specific frequencies for radio tuning, oscillators, etc. Capacitors pass AC signals between circuit stages and filter out noise from power lines. This is called as coupling and decoupling, respectively. Capacitors are used with resistors to create RC time constants in oscillators, timers, and delay circuits. In short, we use capacitors in electronics to store energy, filter signals, control voltage and tune frequencies. Now what are the types of capacitors? There are many types and categories of capacitors. Some major types are mentioned here. 1. Ceramic capacitor. These are small in size, non-polarized and suitable for high frequency circuits. 2. Electrolytic capacitor or aluminum capacitor. These have large capacitance and are polarized. 3. Tantalum capacitor. These have high capacitance per volume, are stable, reliable, but sensitive to surges. 4. Film capacitor. These are stable over temperature, long life, but larger in physical size. 5. Mica capacitor. These are very stable, of precise values, low loss, and are used for RF stability. 6. Super capacitor or ultra capacitor. These have extremely high capacitance, but low voltage rating and have fast charge discharge cycles. 7. Variable capacitor. These have adjustable capacitance range and have mechanical tuning. There are many more types, but these are the major types of capacitors. Subscribe this channel for more such videos.